All right, out here doing an inspection of a swarm capture, and I kind of noticed that I've got a laying worker, and thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of show you how to tell that. I don't think it's anything I've ever talked about before on my channel, and I'm having to do this one-handed, so you're going to have to kind of excuse the video. I'm going to have to try to get it where you can see it. Just pick this frame up one-handed. Try to turn here toward the light where you can see. And I'm not sure if this is showing up in the video. Can you see down inside those cells and see multiple eggs? I know I can see it from where I'm at, but in order to get the, like a lighting behind me, then it casts a shadow from the phone. But you can kind of see all these cells have multiple eggs in them. And that's how you know that you're queenless. Now out of all the swarms that I caught this year, this is the only one that's queenless. Another way you can tell too, you blow these out of the way. See, you got larva. You got some larva there, and then right below that are a whole bunch of drone cells. Because a worker bee can only lay drone eggs so that's another way to tell see all the drone cells right there now this hive has kind of been weak from the moment that i captured it it was a pretty small swarm i thought i got the queen but now that we're four weeks or so into it it's obvious i did not get the queen um, they're building, you can kind of see what they've done. So when I first caught them, I stuck a frame of resources in there that also had some eggs. And for whatever reason, they never built, they never tried to create queen cells. The eggs hatched and I need to get another, I need to get another, uh, frame that's got some eggs in it from another hive so that they can try to do something because it's it's such a small swarm it's it's basically one frame of bees that's all there is and they've been in there four weeks and they've drawn out well i showed you the comb they didn't really draw out anything else but it's because they're basically not queen right and it's not a very strong hive now, I've been trying to decide if I'm going to combine it with another hive or try to make it queen right and see what happens. I'm really not sure yet. Um, the other swarm that I caught that's in this wear hive, it's queen right. It's doing great. Um, and then another swarm that I caught that's over in the garden is also queen right and it's doing great. So I'm probably going to I don't know there's not a lot of bees in this and it's kind of like one side of me says you should experiment and give them another frame of eggs and maybe they'll grow up and be a huge colony by the end of this year and make it through winter i mean it's only june 4th right now so they got plenty of time to build up you know maybe as an experiment i will add another frame of eggs so i'll update when this is uh to that point but right now you know they got honey they got pollen they got sugar water and they got bee uh pollen patties so they're they're kind of like limping by but if they had a queen they'd probably do better so i'm going to figure out what to do i'm either going to combine this hive with another hive or potentially um uh, make it queen right as always thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads Thanks.